Mountain Mods is upon us again, and I'm hyped to bring back Matt McDuff for this build. Thank you. Thank and Will you. Conroy doubling down here. He's going to be in the machine, and he's also going to be keeping quality control to a premium. So I've got a big pile of dirt in the backyard, Matt. I want to take it to the next level. So boys, this is what we got to work with. It's the biggest lump of dirt I could make. I like straight up flare machines. That's He's already Mary. calling moves. It's just a pile of dirt. Well, this is what I'm thinking. That's going to be our little easy skipper into the quarter and then pave over it with some planks. We want to do an on-off box. So you're talking like quarter pipes almost. Put a platform on the top and shape up the side so it's just steep dirt all the way around. So you could basically ride at any angle. I'm seeing more lines pop out. Let's toss up the old up box that I built and do it as a vert wall and put it right there. You think uh, people want to see that? I want to see it. Dirt skate park's coming tomorrow. <laughs> Will, what's your tactics when you're stacking steep dirt with the machine? Compaction's really important. So if you make sure there's rock or good dirt all the way through the thing in the middle to give it a good structure, and then use the nice sifted material on the sides and compact it layer by layer as you go up. It, I mean, it rides like it's been there for a year. Nice, so this is gonna be all the wood that we're gonna need for the, for the deck. What is the dog doing? What it gets you is like 20 planks, a dozen two by fours, all really long, all super stout. What if we put a little bit of a roller there? Yep. So you could 180 off this, so oh to my say. God. So then you could like cap the roller and then come into your quarter pipe. It's yeah. almost looking a bit like a Jersey barrier, especially if you turn it up a little bit. Hold up box yeah. from the second mountain mod. This is gonna be perfect. Thinking that um, I'm gonna leave this uh, build completely up to chase. Let's see if that rust can hold dirt. Oh yeah. We are this close to be finishing the board blaster jump. And when you're talking about jumps, this is as crooked and wild of a jump as you can get, so. I've been cranking through some work this morning, trying to get this ramp right, and I think it's a little bit closer now, and it's all stiffened up and solid, and these guys just all rolled in. The fire's cooking and it's about ready to go on. I got my knee pads on, so I just need to get my helmet. Are we doing this? And I'm ready to ride. <laughs> Dude, this situation is insane. Aaron's just crafted this little playground at his house. The fuse is lit, let's go. a hurricane. Are you? Yeah. Yo. I gotta go faster anyway. No! That's a day right there. I had a blast riding with everybody. It was really neat seeing how everyone interprets this dirt skate park. And the take home today is the more transitions you have, the more options you have. So keep that in mind on your next build.